Welcome back to Timber Porners, where everything is fine except for District 69. Yes, we need a little help in the form of robot beavers. Let's hope they don't go rogue again. Last time ended the whole season. Maybe this time will. Who knows? Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Timber Borders. Uh, last time we made this inc <laughs> incredible looking feat of engineering here. Basically, we're trying to, we've been, well, we've been trying the whole series to get to this mine so that we have an unlimited supply of scrap metal. So we're just building that now. Oh, look how many planks are in there. Nice. So we're just waiting for the final few bits and bobs to go in there, and then we will have an unlimited supply of scrap metal. Although surprisingly, over here, there is still, there's five bits remaining. You can see it's definitely getting used by, by these beavers, though, because we, well, we spent most of it on incredible bridges and train tracks and stuff and less incredible bridges because I left a gap in it. Oops. But yeah, if you watched the last episode, you remember District 69, we sort of... Oh, actually, I moved everyone over, didn't I? Yeah, I moved everyone over, but we did sort of... I mean, every, everyone died. Everyone died in District 69. I was fast forwarding. I didn't pay attention. But yeah, since we were on cycle 22, which I imagine is like 22 years, um, but basically that whole time, people have been scientisting away um, and we got 40,000 science. So I I reckon it's probably worth trying to invest in the golems. Are they still called golems, actually? Oh, no, they're not called golems anymore. Are they? Are they just called bots? I think they're just called bots. But you can see they do actually require steel. Top left, we have, we do have 42 rolled steel. So we could build... Oh, no, we can't, we can't assemble our bots. So, yeah, we will still be waiting for this efficient mine to be built. But once it is, uh, we can probably start manufacturing bots. So I reckon... Let's get, let's get a load of bot parts. And I think the place we want to do this is up here by the power plant. Because uh, this looks over the the entire the entire county of Engebri. Um, but if you remember it's actually very dangerous so people or oh, beavers I mean, beavers are people to me, but beavers that go in there, they get a life expectancy of minus 120%. Now, the average beaver, if we take a look, like this one down here carrying some sunflowers, seven kiloton nucum, um, <laughs> doesn't bode well considering we do have a, a nuclear factory over there. But you can see their life expectancy is plus 20%. So if we were to put him to work in here, his life expectancy would drop to, well, zero, essentially. Hence, anyone I put to work in here, they do pretty much die in instantly. Not ideal. Hence, golems, good idea, because uh, golems can't die. And on top of that, it means that we can't have a situation like District 69 happening again, where everyone just dies because I'm too busy fast forwarding, not paying attention. So first off, into science, let's unlock all this stuff. So bot part factory, 500 science, chomp change. Then we want the assembler, 750 science, yep. Then a charging station, because these, these guys, they run on power. So we definitely need charging stations. So that is good. So next up, we want bot part factory and you can see each of these they make different parts of the bots i think that's body there's arms and then a head now if we just look at all these different components they take a different amount of time to make now thankfully because i used to be an engineer i've just done some quick math uh, and basically we just need three bot part factories in order to make a bot at the same time if that makes sense and i think we should just about have enough steel to do that we'll need 43 but i reckon that should be fine so bot part factory let's get these down so we're gonna want power in the in the rear end <laughs> i mean i guess it could go into the front you yeah, know we'll shove them along there i think so three of those and then we'll need an assembler as well so that's those sorted i've pushed them back a bit as well because i realize they they share power don't they so as long as i just swap like one of those with like a t-shaft like that then that should take the power not only down there wherever that goes but also into that so sorted and then if i want to double up production i can literally just do that down the other side as well nice okay that is good i feel like i might actually get let's yeah let's get the other the other side down so i need a t there i need the high power shaft like that and then i'll put another t on that side so that the buildings there can be powered but i also need around this corner i need the charging stations and i can probably shove two more like there with a corner power shaft like that 
So that should allow our golems to get charged all off the power of this. So I guess we'll just fast forward time and we'll sort of wait for those to get built. Well, and wait for this to get built as well. I mean, they haven't added any more treated planks. Are we still treating planks? Oh, there is one. There is one of these with a beaver in. Brick workshop. I mean, you're not actually making bricks. You're making treated planks, which technically probably as strong as a brick. But yeah, he's 16 years old now. I've actually, I've just realized probably like 100 episodes of Timberborn in. The age, that's the days. That's how many days they're alive. That's not years. Anyway, not important. Not important. We celebrate the birthdays. That's all that matters. But yeah, so we are we are making treated planks, or are we? So unable to get all required materials. What are you after? Pine resin. Okay, has the train stopped? Well, there's a train there doing nothing. 245 year old real rail engineer. We are still receiving pine resin. Are we still sending it? That is the question. Sending pine resin and it's full. Okay, yes. Let's follow the track. Should all be good. I'm just sort of like switching these up to send and receive to see if the trains move. Uh, it turns out they just... <laughs> We just want to chill out there. They're like two horses in a field. Like, have you ever seen horses that like they just stand in a field and like they go like head to tail so that I think their tails like wave the flies off each other's faces. No, I feel like that's what they're doing. Those two. I don't know. Maybe they'll wake up and move them at some point. We interrupt this episode of Timberborners to bring you a breaking news story. Top researchers have discovered that if you take a glass of water, plop in a load of berries and leave it for a few days, you will grow your very own engineering beaver. We head to local news reporter Matt Matheson to see how locals are taking the news. Well, it seems like the residents of Enjibri have erupted into violence and are attacking the beavers. It's horrible. To adopt an engineering beaver, head to Makeship using the link in my description. Right, so a little bit of time has passed. You can see trains are now moving, which is good. Uh, oh, down here. Look, look. It's built. It's built. So the efficient mine, we gotta, we got to add some beavers in it. So for now, just two beavers. we got Jerion and Nate Clinton in there. They're going to be turning, well, gears, planks, and dynamite into scrap metal. Uh, so I probably want to set up another route saying take scrap metal. We'll say send scrap metal. And then we'll send it up to this station in District 69 to scrap Scrap metal receive sorted. So then the train should arrive with scrap metal here, which means old brick workshop. He has the goods to make treated planks. Wait, no, no, no. We don't need treated planks anymore. We don't need treated planks. Brick, I'm sorry, mate, you're fired because we need someone in the smelter. So up the priority of the smelter, Kajel Isaac has gone in there and then we are making the, the metal blocks that we need. Yeah, and I mean, to be honest, I should probably build another one of those in that gap. So metal smelter. Oh, why is it so long? I've, I've never had this problem before. So we'll shove that there, put a footpath on top, and then once that's done, we can delete that bit of path, build a smelter there, sorted. Jobs are good. All right, so it's been a little while of fast forwarding. You can see the smelter's done, the platform's in. Yeah, over here, look, we've had one of these built. The other ones, they're nearly there. 76% on that one, 51%. Um, so I guess in here, we need to actually say the recipe. So we, we just want one, of, one building for each of these. So we need a chassis in that one, limbs in that one, and then a head in the the last one. Then we'll just have to prioritize jobs so they start getting built. So Callum Panel has gone in there. Although, oh no, look. He sat on his ass. He sat on his ass. Why is he sat on his ass? Because there's no power, which means we need to sacrifice a beaver to the nuclear plant. So it's been a while since we've done this, but we're going to play the beaver game show. Who wants to be a beaverlionaire? And then I'll just click this play button to see who the lucky beaver is. So the lucky beaver is Tungsten Jones. Come on down. So yeah, this has now been unpaused, which means Tungsten Jones is coming in there. Let's see. So he's 47. His... <laughs> His life expectancy is minus 90%. So I feel like as soon as he goes to bed, he'll probably die. Kind of sad. He did get to 47 though, which is quite old for a beaver to be fair. But uh, hopefully he can fill up the power plant with water. Yeah, look, you can see him. He's going down the stairs. Water is in there, which means we are generating power. And then Callum is creating the parts of the bots. Okay, so we're just going to have to basically just go through this loads. Look, there's steam coming out the top. Lovely. Love to see it. But yeah, essentially, we just need to sacrifice some beavers until these are all built. And then we've got a bot assembler. Then we have bots. Then the bots can power the nuclear plants and bots can't die. So I think we'll then be sorted again. Uh, in the meantime, we need to sort of decide what, what are we actually going to, what are we going to use down here? There's a lot of land down here. And I did actually, I had... 
I had a bit of an idea. If we have a look in the landscaping tab, we've actually got these, which could be very useful considering we don't have a lot of land on this level. Now you can see of the available land, we've we've used up all of it. And I mean, we've even, we've created our own land. Like we dammed off an entire city just so we have some land. So it'd be good to create our own. So what I'm thinking, we have the dirt excavator and the terraforming station and the block. So we could literally build some land. So I reckon let's get all of these unlocked. So dirt excavator, 2,000 science. We've got 55,000. So yeah, we'll just unlock all of these straight away. And how this works, I think you have this one which excavates the dirt. Sort of looks like a steam train. Uh, so I could shove that down somewhere. Just needs to be a bit cautious because it does require power. Yeah, it needs 200 HP to do that. I mean, if we could get dirt out of each of these, I could shove one in that corner and in that corner. So I think we'll do a bit of prep down here. I think we need to level this terrain out a little bit. I think we've got loads of dynamite, so we can do that pretty easily. We will need to, of course, try and battle with the train stations to send the dynamite over because, look, it's currently up in District 69. So dynamite send. Then over this way, dynamite receive. So I think that train has actually gone to go get that. Lovely. So they are actually all in now. I was thinking, though, I might try, if I can, push these back a bit. So if I delete that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, although it looks like water is leaking in, that's just like a visual thing. Water doesn't actually leak in. So if I just shove another dynamite on there and wait for that one to get built. So now they're done, we get to go... Hang on, let's pause this. We get to go detonate there detonate there then we can press play and boosh goodbye balls so dirt excavator right back there one over this side like that you can see beavers are already coming to build those so that's good uh, these require power though so i'm probably gonna have to i mean i might delete i'm gonna have to, yeah i'm gonna have to delete this path so annoyingly this shaft i've rebuilt this like a thousand times but anyway we're gonna put shafts along there and then we will need to get the power down however i'm pretty sure there is a mod that can help me do that so if we just go into the mod menu and research my favorite word look at these vertical power shafts so we will enable that because then in power oh look oh there's all sorts of different vertical ones oh i didn't realize that what is that? Universal power shaft. So I think that connects to like all sides. Yeah, so basically these these work well vertically, obviously. So I probably want to unlock the vertical power shaft to start with. So yeah, I think we'll shove this there. So that's like a T, but in that direction. Then I can do vertical ones up here. What a cool mod this is, by the way. And then we can put the, the lid on it so it goes that way. And then we just shove a corner in there. And then that should be all of that connected. However, you will have noticed we need to get power over to this. This side. So what I was thinking, yeah, it looks like, oh, we can do a bridge. We can do a bridge from there. Okay. What sort of length bridge do I want? I think a two by one, a thousand science. We actually have the science now, so we can do that. So <laughs> Old stubbiest little bridge there. We then want to do a similar power network on that side. Well, then I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to swap these lid ones. So we don't want you. We're gonna want the universal power shaft. Let's get it unlocked. So then stubby bridge goes in like that. <laughs> it's the world's shortest truss. I love it. And then we just shaft across like that, and then that should all be connected once I shove a corner down here. So boosh. So then we should be digging loads of dirt, which means yeah, we'll be able to place it somewhere. So we need a terraformation station. Does this? Oh yeah, so this has this has an area. Okay, I mean, I feel like down here might be a good place to sort of terraform, because this side we want water storage, so we don't want to do it there. What if I shove it around the back of the plant like that? Do a dangerous cliff top path. Does that reach? Yeah, it reaches all of... Oh, it reaches... Oh, what the hell? What the... Does it cover everywhere? I think it covers everywhere. Oh, so that can literally be anywhere on the map. Okay, well, no harm in it being up there because this is by the, the charging station and everything. But yeah, essentially, we then want to fill this area with land. So we use this terrain block tool and I'm pretty sure we can just start doing that. Then I think all of that will become like land and we can like start planting and farming and stuff on there. Because at the moment, look, it's just Z. It's literally just Z, but it will be land. So I guess for now, we need to, we need to fast forward because there's so much to get built. So I'll see you in a few years probably. All right, so good news. The first bot is being created. The arms are being turned into legs. Oh, the tail's just gone on. Yeah, annoyingly, they all they all went home for dinner because it's, it's, it's bedtime. But then the next morning, they were back at it and our beaver grew arms and a head until finally our first 
beaver bot was born. Would this be the end of our beaver kind? But, ooh, there he goes. There he goes. Blue and always fast. So we've got to name this bot after our first ever Patreon. That is still a Patreon now. Our longest serving one, Jordan Miller. Thanks for support. Uh, please don't turn on my beavers though. So he's going to head down here. You can see as he heads downstairs, everything over here is built. Look at our short stoppy fridge. It's so cute. But yeah, we are excavating dirt in there. Lovely. No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I feel like just because just i mean look at it you know what that needs a bridge review this tiny span truss bridge takes power from one side to the other allowing dirt to be dug and our sea to be transformed into land this bridge proves it's not the size of your span it's how you truss it so overall i give this bridge an 8.9 out of 10 baby bridge review so yeah nice we are now making dirt the thing is i've just realized i probably should have made jordan go work in the in the plant because yeah just <laughs> Despite the high priority, no one wants to go work in there. I think everyone's just dying. So I'm going to have... How much? 50,000 science to unlock this workplace for bots. Thankfully, I do have 60,000. But oh my goodness, 50,000. Oh yeah, we're going to unlock that. 50,000 science. And Jordan Miller, there you go. He's no longer digging dirt. He is heading back to the plant where we need power so that someone else can dig dirt. I'm not sure I've thought this through. Basically, we need another bot. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, look down here, by the way. Look, Jordan's getting uh, his rear end is being tickled by that. He's absolutely loving that. But uh, that's just charging him up. Look, uh, actually, uh, what? He was sat on that bit of it. Oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge, Jordan. Whatever you want to do, mate. But yeah, you can see his new job is literally just take water from the water cooler up here, which takes the geothermal power. It cools it down. All the steam produced turns into water, and then that gets put down into there where it's turned into steam. The cycle repeats. So I think we now sort of have infinite power. Although I say that, I've just remembered the top does turn metal blocks and treated planks into that water. It doesn't just make it automatically annoyingly. Um, at the moment, I assume we're out of those planks because look, someone set out the top, living life on the edge with an incredible view as always. Love that. Absolutely love that. But yeah, for now, I guess we need to we need to work on expansion of these. So we need more bot part factories. We need another assembler down there. And then if we want to expand this, we lit. I mean, I think I, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Sod it. We're going all out on these wait actually actually don't these take ages to build so yeah you can see there it takes 36 hours to create a bot out of all the parts and i think the parts take 18 hours so 36 is double 18 yeah so essentially i need i need another assembler for this to be efficient so let's high prioritize that last one do a quick path to it and then they can do this side so yeah i think we need three of those and two of those in order to make bots really efficiently so if i want to make four times as many. That's two times. What I'll need to do is add bot part factories down there. So I need three of them and then two assemblers. We're going into the trees. Mark resources for demolition. So we get rid of all of those. Then we do the same down this side. Then essentially we should be able to turn this place into, into like a bot run beavertopia that's the plan anyway oh no look over here look confirmation we're out of steel so pause pause uh, district 69 population look back up to 29 beavers but yeah in the meantime i sort of i just need to well i just need to wait for all this to get built so we can have those beavers so i'll see you in a few more years all right so it's been like a decade or something <laughs> good news is Look at all this production. Lots of beaver engineering going on. Uh, bad news is lots of beavers are hurt as well. So I should probably build a few medical beds and stuff. So yeah, let's shove some medical beds down there. Yeah, they're all different injuries. They're not they're not broken teeth. I think they've just got injured over time. But yeah, we've got how many? Oh, we've got six bots on this side. Uh, so what I was thinking, I think at the moment, they're all sort of working down here, getting the, yeah, they're all excavating dirt apart from Jordan. Oh, hang on, what's happening in District 69? Why are you all hungry? Why are you all hungry? There's loads of carrots. There's loads of carrots. There's only 23 of you. What's going on? There's no farmers. There's no... <laughs> 
High prioritizer farmers, this always happens. Okay, I think they're probably fine this time. But yeah, essentially, I want to replace all these industrial jobs with the with the bots. And the downside with that is we do Oh no, we don't need to I thought we need to I thought we need to unlock it for everything. We don't. We can literally just say do it. Nice. Okay. We do need charging stations over this side. So let's have a look at charging station. I think as long as they're touching buildings that have power, like this one, we should have power ourselves. So if we do like a strip down there. And then a path back there. They should have power from this engine, I think. And in the meantime as well, I should probably check. Have we started building the land yet? No, because I low prioritize this. Let's if I reduce it to one worker and up the priority. All right, so here's Ironbot 6. What is on his shoulder? Is that a sack of dirt? He might have a sack of dirt with him. Let's see what he, what he does. So is he going to drop it into the water to create dirt? Yes. Oh, yeah. So each block of dirt takes six. And I think he carries four at once. Oh, so we should start to see that happen fairly quickly quickly oh yeah look at this look at this we have land we have land so you can sort of see like underwater he's done oh yeah he's done he's done a good job there to be fair he's done like all that back edge he's on those two higher up oh nice okay so we're finally making land which essentially means we've beaten the main problem with this map and not having enough land all being underwater hang on what there's ruin there's ruins there <laughs> I didn't know there was ruins there. So basically, I could have just got my scrap metal from there. I didn't have to build Beaver Atlantis to get under there. I didn't have to build a nuclear power plant which killed everyone in order to power this, in order to pump the water out to get down. And I didn't have to build all these bot factories and replace everyone with bots in order to create extra land to do that. Oh, man. <laughs> Right, well, anyway, this is setting us up for a very, very nice finale, I think. Because if I can get a city that runs sort of automatically on bots, then I can just, like, have my beavers live out, like, their best life. What I intended for the last season, but never actually happened. So, for now, I'll say peace, love, and tiny little bridges. Bye, guys!